One of our best events we've ever had as far as top to bottom talent was the first year 2020 QB Universe. St. Louis year one went off without a hitch. We were looking at each other going, that might have been the best event, not only because we hosted, but that we'd ever been to because we all had chemistry, we all were making plays, we all kind of knew where our lane was as far as behind the scenes and in the drills. But it was a close call. The rumblings, if you will, were just starting to spread across the country. They're like, oh, there's a sickness, it's very serious. The timeline from starting the company to putting that event on, and then what happened after was insane. If it happens any other way, QB Universe never gets off the ground. From that Hooters meeting and all these great ideas and executing on all the different fronts to prepping, getting ourselves in position to get this done. That was probably a 10 month run of getting it all figured out. We're planning this thing. We were trying to make it big. We're trying to put it on an event that people haven't seen in the quarterback space. And then, uh, you know, something they call COVID hit. The breaking news, stay at home. That is the order tonight from four state governors as the coronavirus pandemic spreads. Bam, like the entire country shuts down COVID-19. And I just look back at that, even at the time going, whoa, the world shut down. Look at the map. What started in China has now spread to Europe, Australia, and the United States. Californians, New Yorkers, the populations of Illinois and Connecticut will all soon be under orders to stay home. But if you know anything about our staff, that wasn't gonna stop us. It's nothing but a group of quarterbacks. We're all about halftime adjustments. It was almost an advantage to us. Everyone folded up shop so easily, and uh, we didn't flinch. We knew we were putting on the event. In fact, the event was needed because these guys weren't allowed to go out on fields and practice with their teammates. We were really the only show in town allowing guys to go out and play football anywhere and, and train at a high level. So we had a great place to host the event, you know, the old Rams sports complex. Uh, we had a hotel that was super close. With the right field and the right hotel, the right curriculum in the classroom and, and the drills, add to that, we got a lot of great players out. Look at this. Um, when you look back at those pictures, I mean, there must be 10 to 12 of those guys that are in D1 quarterback rooms right now. So all those things just kind of came together. One of the cool things we did our first year was the XFL had just restarted. And so we got tickets to do a practice on the game field. And then from the game field, we went to lunch and then came back and got to watch one of the games. And so that was really, really cool. We were able to put on an event that first year that was just very memorable. It's something that I'll probably never forget because it came together and we were able to have 60 quarterbacks show up to a three-day event and they all walked out of there with, a, with an unbelievable experience. Like I said, we're quarterbacks. We figured it out. And that's all it was gonna be in the beginning is we were gonna figure it out. It was a perfect timeline and then because of that timeline, it exploded and became something insane. It couldn't have started any better, but it was our first one. We wanted to go bigger. I think right away, like just like the first time you get under center and you get that live snap or you have a little success, you complete that first pass, like it just kind of builds and it's like, man, that was fun. Like, I can't wait to do it again. Yeah, year two, already we're up at four events. In a year span, we went from an idea to executing that idea to COVID shutting down the earth, to selling out two of the first three events in 12 months. That all happened in 12 months. It was a crazy fast process.